Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GT Sport Drift setup. It feels like ages since we've had an update, but finally we have had one today, albeit a very small one with only a few cars in it. But in terms of drifting, there is one very iconic and important car amongst this pack, and that's the Nissan 180SX. So obviously this was the first one that I wanted to tackle and I have to say it's absolutely superb for drifting. I know we should really expect that but at the same time there's been a few cars in the past that have really surprised me just how difficult they are to get right. But with this one it reminds me a lot of the 350Z. You should be getting straight into this, no real practice needed and just get out there and enjoy it. Just very quickly before I do take you over to this setup, I did just want to say a massive thank you once again to you guys that are part of the community. I really do appreciate your comments that you leave down below. I love reading through them and also it's great to hear what you would like to see done with the channel. So please continue. If you ever want to just get hold of me, use that comment section. It is by far and away the easiest way to get me and I should respond as quickly as I possibly can. Also though, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. It really does help this channel grow when you do that. And also leave a like if you enjoy the setup I've got for you today. But that's enough of that anyway. Let's get to what you're actually here for. So the 180 here is a real nice simple build, but you are going to need some mileage points to start off with. So with this one, I've taken the power level all the way up to level four there. You're basically just trying to get it as high as you possibly can. So 194%, which is 394 brake horsepower. Weight reduction wise, um, just take it to level three. There's no point going any higher if you're trying to drop the weight anyway. And take that as low as you possibly can to 89%. And that's going to leave you just 1,085 kilograms. With this setup, the car actually feels a lot more powerful than it's kind of letting on with those figures there. So you really can chuck this one about and have loads of fun with it. Traction control, you want to be setting to zero. And I've gone for comfort hard tires, both front and rear. With the brake balance, you want to set that to minus three. And I've gone for a ride height of 90 on the front and I've just raised it slightly on the rear there to 95. Natural frequency on the front is set to 1.7 and on the rear is 1.6 and anti-roll bar on the front is set to eight and four on the rear. Now the compression and rebound, I don't think I've actually played with at all, so just leave those at 60, 60 and 90 and 90. The camber angle on the front, you wanna be set into 2.8 and one on the rear. Toe angle on the front is set out to 0.4 and in 0.3 on the back. And with the downforce, you don't need to worry about that one for this build at all, just leave that well alone. The differential, um, you wanna be set into fully customized here and I've gone for 10, 46 and 20 and with the transmission again i've gone for fully customized with that as well i've set the max speed to 155 miles per hour and there's actually no need to adjust the gears so they should naturally fall into exactly where i've got them here i really hope you all enjoy the setup i'm giving you today i'm having loads of fun with it i'm just so glad the 180 turned out to be a good drift car within gt sport because you never quite know what you're going to be getting from these updates as always, just use the settings I'm giving you today as a base. This is what I'm personally using and I'm having no issues with it. However, we all do have different styles when it comes to drifting within GT Sport. So just play around with them until you're comfortable. I'm gonna leave you with some more video of me just messing around with the car. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with the next car from the update. Thanks for coming by and I'll see you on the next one.